Humans, as far as we know, live on the surface of the earth with the rest of earth's creatures. But there are actually conspiracy theories that exist that make the claim that our earth is hollow and that actual humans live inside it. These conspiracy theories haven't been proven, but one has to wonder if there's something to them. Today, life's biggest questions asks, what if humans lived inside the earth? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that asks the fundamental questions of life and occasionally answers them too. I'm Charlotte Jobre, hit that sub button for more daily questions and follow the creative team behind the channel on Instagram. The idea of the earth being hollow is actually not new. It's called the hollow earth theory and it was first suggested by Edmund Halley, as in the guy that discovered Halley's comet in the late 17th century. He suggested that the earth consisted of several concentric shells that were separated by individual atmospheres. He he believed the shell that was on the outside was around 500 miles thick. But the idea of the earth being hollow and habitable actually goes back to ancient times. The concept of a subterranean land that existed inside the earth is evident in mythology across many cultures. The Greeks called it the underworld, in Judaism it's Sheol, Buddhists called it Shambhala, and Christians called it Hell. But the question today is not what if Hell was real, though that's a great idea for a future episode of Life's Biggest Questions. The question today is what if humans lived inside the earth? And guess what? We're not the first to ask that question. There's even a theory out there that there's a mythical civilization called Argatha that exists deep inside our planet. And you can thank Admiral Richard E. Byrd of the US Navy for that. Admiral Byrd is known for a record setting flight over the North Pole. According to one of his alleged diary entries from his polar flight, dated February 1947, Byrd came across a warm, lush climate with mammoth like creatures and an ancient human race that had been living inside the Earth. His diary entry goes on to say that these people used a saucer shaped aircraft to commandeer his plane in midair, forcing him to land. Once Bird was on the ground, he was met by representatives whom some believe were part of the mythical Argatha civilization. These representatives told Admiral Bird that they were concerned about the atomic bombs that were used during World War II. They sent him back to the US to relay their message to the government. Unfortunately, I know you're totally captivated by this story, but I'm about to burst your bubble. Most believe that this diary entry was fabricated. Admiral Bird achieved his flight over the North. Pole 20 years earlier than the dated diary entry on May 7, 1926. It's also believed that Bird didn't actually make it to the North Pole at all and created fraudulent navigation records for his flight, taking the numbers from a different team who had reached the North Pole a few days earlier. Definitely a cool story though, you got to admit, but it's not the only semi-modern reference to Argatha. There's a theory out there that Hitler actually escaped persecution and went to the center of the earth. The Nazis were obsessed with esotericism and the occult, and there are Nazi maps in in existence that appear to be instructions on how to reach Argatha. There's quite a lot of evidence actually that the Nazis tried to reach Argatha in case Hitler needed a last resort for escape. None of this has been proven, but you uh, got to admit. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? If humans lived inside the Earth, it would mean that we know nothing about our planet. We would have to reevaluate everything we know about the Earth and how other planets are made up and created. That would definitely be a hard thing for the science world to grasp. If humans lived inside the Earth, they might have a completely different way of communicating than humans that live on the surface. They could have other technologies as well. If humans lived inside the Earth, what would they even look like? They might have evolved in a different way than us. The biggest difference between living on the surface of the Earth and living inside of it is is the lack of the sun. UVA and UVB rays are essential for plants. Seeing as there's no sun inside the earth, maybe these humans would be very pale with a vitamin D deficiency. Depending on how advanced they were, these mole people, let's call them, could use LED lamps to grow crops for food. Or maybe those humans have evolved to not require vitamin D as we do. Maybe the humans that live inside the earth are extremely primitive, somewhat looking like Neanderthals. But humans can survive underground. According to a 2012 report by Slate, a Russian cult survived underground thanks to a vitamin D rich diet. As long as these humans were regularly consuming things like egg yolks, fish, milk and cheese, they were able to survive. So is there any possibility that humans live inside the earth? The deepest known drilling, the Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia, reached 12,262 meters. That's around 12.2 kilometers. That's still way under what Edmund Haley proposed. He said that the outermost shell was 500 miles thick. The earth is comprised of layers, but they aren't shells like Haley said. 
Underneath the surface of the earth, it gets quite hot. When you drill through the crust, you get to the mantle. It's 1800 miles thick and its temperatures reach 1000 degrees Celsius. Humans don't live inside the earth. Our earth is very much a piece of rock with a liquid hot core. The best proof that the earth has a liquid hot core is actually our magnetic field, generated by the core. If our earth was hollow, it wouldn't have a magnetic field. But now I open up the question to you dear subscribers, what do you think would happen if humans lived inside the earth? Let me know down in the comments. For now I'm going to respond to some of your past comments. Gagey Boy said just earned a sub. Welcome to the channel and thanks for subscribing. Quinn Tsai said what if all the food on earth disappeared? I would imagine there would be mass starvation. But humans have actually begun genetically engineering and 3D printing food, so I would imagine most would starve but some would survive on that. Salvador said what if I say you've got a cute voice? Well Salvador, I wouldn't mind at all. Welcome to the end screen, this means the video is over. If you want to go on an LBQ binge, check out the playlist that's currently flashing on your screen. And obviously if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications so I can see you in a future episode of Life's Biggest Questions.